Abrams' voter suppression claim damaged after release of turnout numbers. The issue of voter suppression played a prominent role in Georgia's midterm elections, where Democratic gubernatorial nominee Stacey Abrams continues to insist that suppression robbed her state of true results. But now that the election is over and the votes have been counted, the numbers point to not only a rise in voter registration in Georgia but a sharp increase in voter engagement over previous midterm elections. According to a report by the Washington Free Beacon, voter registration in Georgia has increased 20% since Brian Kemp, the GOP candidate who defeated Abrams, took over as Georgia's Secretary of State in 2010. More than 3.9 million Georgia voters cast a ballot in this year's gubernatorial election, a significant increase over previous midterm elections. There were 2.5 million people who voted in the 2014 midterm and 2.4 million who voted in the 2010 midterm, according to the Beacon. Despite the big increase in voter turnout, Abrams accused Kemp of administering an unfair election, due to purges of voter rolls and even suppressing votes by shutting down polling places. Kemp won the governor's race by a margin of 54,000 votes at the final count, but Abrams persisted in her claim that the results weren't accurate. It was not a free and fair election Abrams said in a recent interview on MSNBC. We had thousands of Georgians who were purged from the rolls wrongly Abrams said. It was not fair to the thousands, forced to wait in long lines because they were in polling places that were under-resourced, or worse, they had no polling places to go to because more than 300 had been closed. It was not fair.